eye contact. People cheat on this all the time. And there's people out there advising people, if you're uncomfortable looking people in the eye, just pick a spot out on the back wall or out in the middle distance. Does it look like I'm making eye contact right now with you people? <laughs> no. Especially if you're in the back row. You're back there, you're like, who the hell is he looking at? <laughs> it's just a wall back there. It's so obvious, and I see it all the time, and it's terrible. It looks bad. It disrespects your audience. And this may be a difficult thing to get used to, but if you're going to be doing any amount, any amount of presenting, you have to get used to the idea of looking people in the eye. Not like, you know, sticking on one person and just making it get really awkward and uncomfortable, but scanning the room. Make sure you pay attention to everybody. Front, back, left, right, pause. Check in with people. Again, this is why we're doing a presentation and not sending a memo. We have live bodies in this room, people that you can connect with. And if you're doing a good job, and your audience is great just like this one, if you're checking in with people, you can see whether they're engaged or not, because they're smiling, they're giving you that good body language and feedback, they're nodding and all those other things. And of course, if you're not doing well, they're looking skeptical, confused, bored, they're buried in their phones, whatever it is. So if you're going to really get hung up on body language, think mostly about your audience's body language. What are they doing? Because if they're starting to check out, that means it's time to change things up. Skip to a different part of your presentation. Tell a story. Start an exercise. Ask a question. Take a poll. Whatever it is, do something different. The definition of insanity, as we all know, is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result.